The Oyster Principle by John Council If you've ever sat opening oysters in search of pearls, you'll know what a frustrating exercise it is. You usually end up with a large pile of wasted oysters and no pearls. On the rare occasions when you do manage to find a pearl, chances are they will be flawed or misshapen. The Japanese realised a long time ago that pearls were the results of a process and if you want to control the result, all you have to do is define and control the relevant process for predictable, desirable results. So they created the cultured pearl industry. The only real difference between a cultured pearl and a natural pearl is that one is the result of a random, uncontrolled process, if you like, an accident, while the other is the result of a deliberately controlled process, that is, by design. Other than that, the process is identical. The oyster begins coating a tiny puddle or other irritant with a necraceous substance and continues until it no longer irritates. From our own point of view, the relevance lies in the different motives for opening the oysters in the first place. Pearl fishers open oysters in the hope of finding pearls. It's difficult, dangerous, even life-threatening, and they are frequently disappointed. On the other hand, the cultured pearl farmer opens the oyster to commence a process, to initiate a relationship that will produce a predictable, desirable result. All it takes is time, effort and discipline. There's almost no risk. And if they do happen to find the proverbial pearl while they open an oyster for the first time, well, it's a bonus. These diametrically opposite perspectives are reflected in the motives, attitudes and behaviours of the two groups and in their lifestyles and stress levels. The lesson to be learned from this principle is simple but powerful. Instead of putting a result ahead of the relationship that produces it, in our perspective, and therefore in our priorities, with all the attendant risks of damaging that productive relationship, focus instead on maintaining, enhancing, and protecting it, so that continuing results are assured. Even if no immediate result is obtained, it is worth the time, effort, and discipline in the wrong run. In purely practical terms, it means regarding every prospective customer, every inquirer, even the nuisance, as an oyster, not as a pearl.